Hi there and welcome to another Sonic Academy video with me, Phil Johnston. This one we're going to be taking a look at the Euphonics MC Transport and how it integrates with the Ableton. Um, so I've been playing about with it and um, there's a few things that are cool and a few th few things that are, are not so cool. Um, it's a really nice unit. Um, we've got uh, a nice sort of weighted jog wheel. It feels really sturdy and has a nice sort of weight to it. Uh, underneath there's like this shuttle dial. It's like a spring, spring loaded dial. And then we've got these sort of um, assignable buttons. And these are sort of your start, stop and play, but you can assign them to, to pretty much anything. And then we've got a bank of um, what Euphonics call soft keys. And these basically control the mode of the wheel, what it's assigned to and, and how it sort of works. So what I'm going to do is basically just show you how you can integrate it with Ableton and sort of how to set different stuff up. When you install Euphonics software first, you get a, this control panel and you can assign your different applications um, to the MC Transport. And you can sort of sh decide what protocol they're going to use. And then you assign the MIDI ports. So I've got live and I've got it set to MIDI ports five to eight. And then in, in live itself, I have selected Maggie Control Classic as my control service. I'm not sure what the difference is between Classic and um, the other version. And um, they've removed the documentation from Ableton Live 8, so I couldn't really find it. Although I, I did come across it before on the internet, so I'll maybe dig that out. Um, and then we just sort of select the inputs and outputs, which we're going to select uh, MIDI channel 5 or port 5. And um, that seems to work. seems to um, get a signal to and from the transport. The next thing that um, you do when you've got your uh, software loaded up is you go into the Yukon control settings and go into Windows and Settings there. And this gives you a whole range of um, stuff to assign. Tells you what surfaces you've got. I've only the transport. And um, what workstations. So you can actually um, control multiple computers with the one set of um, controllers. And then you've got some general preferences. And the area where you actually assign all your keys and all the functions is this sort of soft keys section. And then we've got three sections to deal with. We've got our wheel, our soft keys, and our number pad. And the first thing we'll look at is the wheel and what it can do. Um, when it was loaded up initially, it had sort of um, basic stuff assigned to it. And the jog wheel seemed to work pretty much right out of the box. Which is pretty cool. And it sort of seems to stick to the way Ableton jumps about in terms of the, the timeline. It's actually everything's still synced up to the beats and bars. So you can sort of scrub through and it'll jump to the right positions. And it seems pretty cool. Works very well. And what doesn't work so well is the shuttle wheel. Not sure the thinking behind the implementation or what it's supposed to do, but doesn't really seem to do very much. And um, the other um, thing we've got is zoom, so we can zoom in and out, and that's nice. And one of the other um, things that I've assigned myself is this fine parameter adjust, and I'll revert to my previous settings, and I'll show you how to set that up. Let me see if it's already there. Okay, so what we'll do, I'll show you how to, to set it up even though it's already in. Basically, we go to our wheel. We want to select um, something to assign to the jog. So we double click in there and it brings up this editor. And um, what we can then do is create a new, a new command. So we'll do fine, adjust, 
Param 2. And what that gives you is the ability to start adding functions for the, when you turn the jog wheel right and when you turn it left. And you can add a, a range of different types of controls. Um, keys or Yukon um, are the only ones that work with the MC transport, but if you've got the MC control, um, you can use MC and page, which have some different functions. Um, and <coughs> we're going to be looking at um, key for now. And if you're in Ableton, what you can do is, if you've selected on a, a parameter, with the arrow keys you can move up and down, and it'll jump up in steps of 10. Uh, but if you hold the shift key down while you're doing that, it'll jump up in steps of 1. And what we want to do is assign this functionality to the wheel. So what we can do is assign it so that when we turn the jog wheel left, we're adding a key, we'll hold shift down, and then we'll insert the right arrow. And then when we turn the jog wheel left, we want to assign a key with shift held down and the left arrow. So we've got this new command called find adjust param2 and what we can do then is go into our soft keys and then assign that custom parameter. So we've got a custom and we've got find adjust param2 and now when we're in Ableton Live we'll click on our perimeter Oh, doesn't seem to be working. Must have messed something up along. Oh, hold on, I've got the zoom selected. So we got find it. We have to go and select our soft key in the MC control or the MC transport, and then we can use our wheel to adjust our parameters. And it just seems to be scrolling through patches there. So you have to be careful what you're doing on the silent up and down on the arrow keys jumps through patches but if we open it up and configure add a parameter we can then control the filter there so that's one handy way of, of sort of setting up um, your own custom perimeters the other thing that I set up on it was the number of keys so what you can do here is if you go into your scene mode, the arrow keys actually move around your scene. And what we can do is assign keys to do the same sort of thing. So if we double click, again, we get this sort of command editor. And we're going to add something different this time. We're going to add a Yukon. And this gives us an option to add the um, the stuff from the Mackie control protocol. So there's a load of different stuff. Not all of it works. Um, I'm not sure why, um, whether it's Ableton's um, implementation of the Mackie control protocol or, or what. So I'm guessing it's probably that there's nothing really assigned to these um, in Ableton. But we can do um, stuff in the Zoom array. And there's a few other things that it works well with. So it's a case of just sort of trying what sort of functions work and what they do. Um, Ableton doesn't come with the um, Mackie control information in their current um, manual since version 8, I think. So I'm not sure why that's been removed. Um, but it is available, I think it's on the net somewhere, um, from the version 5 of Ableton, which it, it was in, implemented initially in. Um, so what we can do is assign some of these controls and um, we're selecting our up arrow so we'll select up delete that select right Select, select left and then we'll select down.
And then we could do something with the middle button as well. We can add the zoom parameter. And what that does is actually select clips. So now when we go into our scene, we can navigate through our clips. So there we go. That works pretty well. Uh, and there's a few other th cool things you can do. One of the uh, key commands that uh, I use a lot in Ableton. Is like a split. So if you want to split something, you currently have to do Apple and E. So if you wanted to do assign that to a control, that's easy enough done. So we can go to our wheel. And I'm going to do that when I hold the shift key. So I hold shift down and it gives me a whole nother set of parameters of these assignable buttons. So I'll double click on this. Add key. And we can go command and then just type E. And now when we press that button in Ableton, It'll split stuff for us. And you can assign any of the key commands. So any of anything in here that you use regularly, capture and insert scene or insert audio track or anything can be assigned to any of these buttons. So pretty versatile. So there you go. And um, that's the MC transport and how it works with Ableton. Um, I like it. Works works pretty well. Uh, it's definitely something that I'll I'll find useful. Um, I'm going to do another quick video on its um, how it works with ScreenFlow and um, how you can sort of edit with it. So if you're interested in that or if you're using ScreenFlow, um, check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.